there's nothing anybody in this world can do to help her. This is, she's just not going to make it as soon as you give birth, that'll be it. I was 18 weeks pregnant and um, they said she had two holes. He then found the pulmonary atresia, uh, corrected transposition, the dextrocardia. She had the two holes, the ASD and the VSD. They said she had no pulmonary arteries. There's n nothing anybody in this world can do to help her. This is, she's just not going to make it. She was kicking the ultra, ultrasound uh, monitor thing off her belly. So, Three I mean, times. so we knew she was a little girl. And we knew she was so active and just, you know, it's like, how could you even ask us to do that? But I know a doctor, Dr. Frank Hanley, Stanford University, that can give her a chance. Okay, all of a sudden there's hope. And then he called me and he agreed that he thought he could help her. I needed to move down here to the Stanford area when I was 32 weeks pregnant. And deliver here and then they would go from there. Well, it was a week after we got here and we had an appointment with him when I was still pregnant and he's so nice. I didn't expect somebody so nice and, and he just really told us everything and uh, the different scenarios, things that could happen depending on what they found when she was born. and. It was just wonderful. It made us feel a lot better about um, go, the day we're going to go in and have her. Because I was scared for that day because, of course, we didn't know what was going to happen when she was delivered. I mean, his, his demeanor and his character is so relaxed and so, you know, down to earth. And, and his mannerism and his characters are just direct and caring and loving. And, and I mean, there's, there's just everything is comforting about him. He had said that Kennedy was one of the most complex and rare cases that he would seen. Um, they did an AP window where they connected the aorta to the pulmonary artery to allow more blood flow to grow her pulmonary arteries and veins. I mean, that was really hard. But she did great. When we came back for her second surgery, um, everybody was just pleased at how big she got and how well she was growing and so it was like a big extended family. They scheduled the unifocalization surgery and, and uh, before the surgery we met with Dr. Hanley and again he just that was his his demeanor and his character was just nothing but how proud he was of her and how optimistic he was about the surgery and how, you know, great everything's going and now this is the plan and this is where we're going from here and now I think here's the possibilities and here's what my hopes are and here's what could happen. And, you know, just kind of laid it all out for us again, leaving no questions, you know, for us to even think about. Our biggest or most stressful times that's how we found relief is just thinking you know what she's at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital and she's under the care of Dr. Frank Hanley so this is the best place in the world to have her. Well we're excited because that's her complete repair but definitely nervous because we knew it was a hard surgery to do with her the way her defects are and the way things are positioned inside. Like I told Dr. Hanley after the after this last surgery, I mean, we owe him her life. He he's given us her. He's given us everything.